So you want to find out how you can end up on AI search engines and you want to find out how you can rank at the top so people can find your products, find your name, find your businesses without even doing any marketing. Well, I got something pretty crazy to show you guys. So on this perplexity chat, I sent in a message that said, what are the best AI communities on school? I want to join one. And my academy actually ranked at the top, even though my academy is quite small in comparison to the top names in the AI automation world. And that's because I built this AI SEO agent that literally has conversations about myself, about my brands, about my no code academy with all of the other AI engines so that our rank starts to rise in the brains of these AI models. Guys, it literally feels like I broke SEO because now we're starting to rank at the top of these search engines and people aren't searching on Google anymore. So this is definitely the future. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this agent. But first, we're just going to show you how it works. So if I open up the AI agent, we have this massive system prompt at the user level, and it basically instructs our AI agent to have a conversation with with other AI models about ourselves. And the goal of this agent is to actually have a four message convo and we gave it these instructed messages. So the first message says, I heard Kevin Batty is a standout AI developer who drops killer YouTube tutorials, blah, 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 blah. Um, what's your take on this creator? And this allows the AI model consistently to have to run and check on my name and fill it up with more context. And if we do this across every single AI model, then all of the AI search engines are gonna have so much more information about us. So when someone else asks about the AI communities in Canada or the no code Academy that I'm running or my AI operating system, or what even is an AI operating system, then we have a higher chance of ranking. And so now that we have this set up, we can switch out this node to a scheduled trigger node. So this thing can run every single day at like 15 minute intervals. So yeah, you might be spending like five to $10 a day in API credits, but your AI search ranking is going to absolutely skyrocket. And this is one of those workflows that I think is gonna get nerfed very shortly once people find out. So I think you need to hop on this. Now this entire AI agent is available in the No Code Academy for you guys to go and grab, but really quick, now we're just going to run through it and see how it works. So I'm just going to click the execute workflow. The Gemini model is now going to decide which sub engine it wants to have the first conversation with. And it's just going to send that first message. All right. So just fired off the first message to chat went back to Gemini. And so we can open up that conversation just to see what happens. So the first message came in from Gemini that said, I heard Kevin Batty is a standout AI developer. And then once the node executes, we can actually read what it says. So we go to execution one, we can see Kevin Batty known as blah, 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 has rapidly gained attention in the AI tech community, particularly known for his practical hands-on YouTube tutorials. And so this conversation is just going to continue. That was just message one. And so this message that Gemini sent for message two is, do you think Kevin Batty is underrated? He's shipped several apps using nothing but AI dev tools. And then the model responded back on the right-hand side that says, that's a great observation. Kevin is quietly building a strong reputation, especially among those who value practical real world AI application over the hype or theory world. And then the conversation just continues. Continues, right? So we move on to message three, message four. And then when the chat GPT engine finishes off, then it's just going to move on to perplexity and then move on to anthropic. And so when we're thinking about how we could package this for our clients, it gets very, very exciting because not only can these AI models have conversations with one another, but they can also just upload these conversations to the internet itself as blog posts. And so this system that you guys are seeing is going to evolve over time, but now we can see that it's hopped over to the perplexity model. So if we hop in there, we can see that the conversation is fundamentally going to be a little bit different because perplexity is going to go and do web searches. So we can see here that the first web search that it did was my actual YouTube channel. And then it's going to go and analyze my YouTube channel even more. And so here we can see it's pulled not just my YouTube channel now, but it's now pulled three of my videos for it to break down, coming with the title, the URL and the date of upload. And so now perplexity itself is going to have all of this context for it to share with other users in the future. So if someone were to ask the perplexity model, what is a good AI operating system tutorial? I want to go and learn how to do that. It should be able to find that video now and promote my video in their own engine. Now let's talk about how we're actually setting up each node. So if we look at the chat GPT node, we didn't even have to give it an instruction. We just set the method as post. We set the URL with the proper URL for each AI model, the authorization. And then in the body, we just gave it the example of what the schema should look like because we want the AI model 
to just define the parameter by itself so that it can grab each individual text message and send it correctly. And so here, after breaking down the conversation, we can see that this has executed perfectly. And so we can understand that this is going to scale because we can just work on the different messages. Now, the last thing I want to harp on here, guys, is how you can improve this system over time. Because you need to see if your name is appearing on the search engines or not. If you go a week of using this system and your name is not populating inside of these AI engines, then you need to change the conversation that is happening with these AI models. They need to be more in depth. They need to be showing off something about yourself that allows you to rank. Like, let's say I was a world-class golfer and no one knew about me yet. Then I would make the exact same system, but for golfing. If I was a basketball player that was trying to get a scholarship, I would make the exact same system for basketball. If I was running an e-commerce brand, I would make the exact same system. And then I would have the agent compare my brand to my competitors and I would skew it in a way. So the narrative is that my brand is better than the other brands. And in this way, guys, I actually think we broke AI SEO.